So Lemon, uh, actually you're fighting with Magali Davis Tel Aviv for the entry of the Tour Final Four. How are the chances to make this happen and how are the chances to win the Euroleague title? Um, it's very possible. Um, I mean, with the experience that we've had from last season here in Maccabi, I think guys know what it takes to, to, to get the job done. And, uh, you know, we've accomplished, you know, our goal, one of our goals as far as that's to get to the eight. But, um, you know, we don't want to look ahead. You know, we just want to take, take advantage of the situation right now. And uh, whoever we play in the eight, you know, we just want to capitalize on that, on that team. So um, I, think, I think if we do capitalize on the eight, I think our chances of winning the Euro League are, will be very, uh, very high. To win the Euroleague means this year, so far it seems so, but beat, to beat Cesca uh, Moscow. Mm -hmm. Can you explain the extraterrestrial dominance? <laughs> Cesca is a strong team. They're strong at every position. They're deep. They have a bench. Uh, they have a lot of players that can be in the starting five, but, I mean, they have a lot of experience too. So so do we. I mean, they've been, they've been here before and we've been here before. So the good thing about... Uh, about this competition is that, you know, whoever has a bad day is is uh, is is, um, is shame on them, you know. So, hopefully, we can we can you know use our experience to match their experience and um, you know get the job done. From your point of view, what is the key to win against Cesca? Defense, you know, uh, kind of control Karolinko and. And their inside game. I mean, they're strong, but I mean, we have we have an inside dominance as well. So uh, if we can defend them and uh, and and and, and kind of cut some of the things that they do very good, then I think we'll be okay. You started to write a column in the German basketball magazine Big about your experiences in the Euroleague. Mm -hmm. Why did you decided to do this, and in how far you are connected with Germany? Was the request a surprise for you? No, not at all. I mean, Germany is a, is a part of me. You know, it's a it's a home away from home because I played there, you know, many years, and uh, Germany has been good to me. You know, it's it's started my career. I've had a lot of success in Germany, so I, I felt I felt I felt that I was obligated, you know, to to give people, you know, some some words of advice or, you know, how I feel about things and you know just my experience when I left Germany. So, I mean, the fans have been been awesome, um, been very supportive, you know, throughout my career. So, uh, you know, for me to, to reach back to them and, 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 and express, you know, what, what's going on with DeMar Mallon and, you know, some of the experiences that I've, that I've had, you know, outside of Germany was, was a pleasure. You played in, I tried to say it poorly, Braunschweig. 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 Uh -huh. Bamberg and Cologne. Uh -huh. Which was your favorite club and what, your, what are your best memories? I would say Braunschweig because no, I would say no, no, no. Bamberg, Bamberg. I mean, all teams were great, but Bamberg was was. I mean, it, we won the first German championship there. Mm -hmm. Since then, they've been, you know, rolling ever since. And I was part of the uh, the first German basketball team to get to the top sixteen in the Euro League. So, I mean, that was just the start of my career, and uh, that's the that was you know one of the most memorable moments you know since I've been in Germany. You mentioned in your column that you miss sometimes your favorite German food. Mm -hmm. Could you please tell in perfect German how to how that food is called? <laughs> Schnitzel, uh, kartoffel uh, salad. <laughs> you know, I miss that. I miss that. I mean, uh, that was my first, you know, European experience. You know, um, eating wise. You know, so. When I got there, that was one of the first things that I've ate, and um, I mean, it just just it's a highlight of my my European experience. So, is there a chance to see you one time again playing at uh, BBL Brest? I don't know. I don't know. It's I, I I never say never. Never say never. It's possible, but as of now, I just want to capitalize on my career and and make the most out of it. You know, a lot of people say, you know, well. It's, it's coming to an end. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play as long as I can. You know, as long as the wheels keep rolling and I, I feel like I'm able. I mean, I feel good. I mean, I've, I've had no, no injuries, you know, in the past. But uh, right now I feel great and I'm just going to, you know, take one day at a time. Good luck, man. Yeah. <laughs>